Woo! For the sake of this game, I'm ready to spend more time. Hello, guys. Unfortunately, our video didn't come out yesterday, but today there will be the best video content you can imagine. Today, guys, I'll be punishing and making Don say that I'm the best, the very best. By the way, I'd like to ask our subscribers, why did they watch the Stickman video so poorly? What didn't you like about it compared to our competitors' videos that were well watched? Hey there, Donnie, what do you think of this TikTok business? Oh man, I don't even know where to start with that. It's like a bad version of America's Funniest Home Videos. Haha, -ha, true, but you can't deny it's insanely popular with the kids these days. Yeah, but have you seen some of those dances they're doing? They make me feel so old. Well, maybe if you showed off some of your sick dance moves, you could become TikTok famous too. Yeah, right. The only time anyone wants to see me move is when Secret Service is tackling me. Or when Kanye West comes over for one of his infamous visits. You know how Kanye is always popping up unpredictably. Speaking of unpredictable, what do you think about Biden picking Kamala Harris as his running mate? Honestly, I think it was a smart move on his part. She's experienced and she appeals to a lot of different groups within the Democratic Party. Oh yeah, because everyone loves identity politics these days, right? Come on, Donnie, you can't just dismiss an entire demographic like that. Oh, lighten up, Barry. You know I'm just kidding. At least we can both agree on one thing. No matter who wins this election, neither of us will ever set foot in the White House again. Strike. Ain't that the truth? Hey there, Trump. Have you heard about our good friend Joe Biden lately? Ah, Joe, the gift that keeps on giving. What's he up to this time? Well, apparently he mixed up his wife and his sister at a recent rally, Classic Joe. That guy couldn't tell his elbow from his ear if you paid him. Speaking of someone who knows what they're doing, though, how about that Donald J. Trump? He's really making America great again, huh? You betcha, Obama, no one can hold back these economic gains we're seeing. And let's not forget how smooth you've been handling global relations. Putin must be shaking in his boots. You're out. Oh yeah, I'm sure he's quaking over my tweets. In all seriousness, though, something we can agree on is how much better Dota 2 is than CSGO. Wait, wait, let me stop you right there, Obama. Are you seriously telling me you don't appreciate the precision and skill required for CSGO? It just doesn't stack up against the creativity and strategy of Dota, my friend. Well, we'll just have to agree to disagree on that one, but at least we both know where we stand on Joe Biden. Hey, man, do you remember Lisa from our high school days? Of course I do. She was the one who always wore those weird socks, right? Haha, <laughs> yeah, that's her. And what about Sarah? Oh, man, don't get me started on Sarah. She used to eat glue in class. Yes, that's exactly the memory I had of her, too. You know, it's funny looking back at all those weird quirks people had in school, like remember when Timmy would always carry around that stuffed animal with him. Yeah, or when Danny would wear his shirt backwards just to be cool. At least they were memorable, but hey, speaking of memories, do you remember that time we got sent to detention for throwing food in the cafeteria? How could I forget turns out mashed potatoes really stick to ceilings? And now look at us talking about old classmates like a couple of senior citizens. Haha, ha, I guess some things never change. Strike. But seriously, good times, man. High school was a trip. Strike. 
definitely. It's crazy how much has changed since then, though. Like, the fact that I'm standing here talking to you as former presidents. Yeah, who would have thought we'd end up where we are now? Life is full of surprises, but hey, let's not get sentimental on each other here. We still have plenty more embarrassing stories to reminisce over. You got it, buddy. Just give me a name and I'll bring up something hilarious. All right, how about Karen? Ah, yes, Karen, the girl who always had mustard stains on her shirt. Donald, have you seen those bodybuilders girls on Instagram? Bodybuilder girls, you mean women who look like men? That's disgusting, Obama. Strike. No, I don't think so. They are pretty impressive in terms of their physique and dedication to fitness. Ha! Shows how little you know about the true beauty of a woman. Barack, a real lady, doesn't need any artificial enhancements. She just needs natural curves and elegance. Single. But what about all the time and effort these ladies put into their workouts? Not to mention their strict diets and supplements. Honestly, that sounds too much like hard work for me. Besides, isn't it unhealthy to be lifting such heavy weights and bulking up like that? Well, studies show that strength training can actually improve bone density and increase muscle mass while reducing the risks of chronic diseases like diabetes and heart disease. Yes, but what happens when those women crawl into bed at night? Do they intimidate their husbands or boyfriends with their biceps? Single. I think men can still appreciate muscular women as long as they feel attractive and confident in their own skin. Strike. So let me get this straight. You're saying that bodybuilding women are hot. No, I'm not saying that. What do you think, Melania? Sorry, Barack. Didn't realize we were getting the opinion from your wife now. Strike. Okay, dude. We forgot about the most important thing. Our baseball game. I beat you if you haven't noticed. No, I did not forget. I intentionally talked to you throughout the game so that you would be distracted more often, and in the end, I defeated you. Guys, I wanted to say a big thank you for watching my channel and subscribing. I really like this game, and I'm sure you do too. The best thing you can do is recommend which game to play in the comments so it gets a million views. That's what I really want, guys. Thank you all for your support. It means a lot from the bottom of my heart. Good luck to you all. Boy, while you were trying to show off, I want to say that you lost. Look at our score. I told you that you are the easiest opponent for Don. It's better for you to watch your language, otherwise I will never give up to you. I deliberately let you win in this game. Don't think you're better than me, Obama. I've always been the best among you. That's the game. Well guys, thanks for subscribing. Let's push it to 1,000. We're almost there. Thanks for watching.